Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome to TTG Plays, Pokemon Fire Red, this is the Nuzlocke Challenge. And uh, I thought I'd just talk about this for a little minute. I love the way it shows you this little diary thing previously in your quest, to keep you up to date, because I haven't recorded in two weeks because I've been sick and uh, fly out with work. The TV series I was finishing on, I was working on, is finished as of like two days ago, so I can finally start recording again. But uh, I also got sick and that stopped me, so my voice is still a little bit like that, so if I cough or anything, I apologize. But uh, this is a really cool little feature, and I don't know why that they don't have these in the more recent games. But that said, it's time to fight Surge. I hope you're all doing quite well. I'm going to quickly check my Pokemon, because I don't actually remember what I have. Uh, I do not want Skyrat to be at the front for this, so I'm going to go... I think Pecker and Sneaky Snack are going to be my two main guys for this. This is Jim, I think. This is it, though. This is the Jim I am most worried about in this game. And, uh, my plan is I'm going to beat all these guys, and then I'm going to beat Surge. So, let's get rid of all these trainers first, shall we? Uh, now, last night I was also told that the editing in here can be a little bit erratic sometimes. Like, you don't know how long time has passed. So, I'm going to try to edit these things and talk these uh, talk in, in a way that makes sense for each each battle, uh, so that you don't get that weird sense of time jumping around. How I'm going to do that, I don't know yet, but I'm going to see if I can find a way in editing. So, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling super confident about Surge. I get the feeling we might lose someone, but maybe we'll be okay. I really wish I had a fire Pokemon for this gym, actually. That would make me feel much better. Oh my god, really? Already? Uh, how are you all you guys doing? That's great. I hope you're all well. I can't hear you because I'm in the past, but if I could, I'm sure you would all say, You're doing pretty good, Dan. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is why Diglett, despite the fact that he's strong against the Pokemon here, is not the best Pokemon of choice because his health is so friggin' low. One, one physical hit is all it took <laughs> to almost kill him. From a fucking Pikachu, no less. Ugh. Getting sick is the worst. It was literally... I didn't get sick at all in 2015. I didn't get sick once, and if I did, it was like for a day, and I got over it straight away. This time, I wasn't so lucky. I guess... I guess I couldn't keep it up forever. Alright. Let's go and get the next guy, then, shall we? If I've almost lost a, my Diglett to that guy's Pikachu, though, I do not have high hopes for the gym leader. I won't lie. Let's go Baldy here. I think this is going to be one of those cases of his sprite will have no correlation to his character within the battle sprite. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah. Unless they chose the bald guy because it looks kind of like a, a cap an electrician would use. I don't think that's the case, though. Alright. This one should be pretty straightforward and easy. You got this, buddy. Sneaky Snack has just gone up a level after taking out that Voltorb. Very good. Good lad. Okay, so this is important. Because Surge has Magnemite. He has a Magneton, that's what I'm worried about. And I was kindly told by KTH77 that they don't have Levitate in this game. So I should be able to hit it with Dig, in theory. Let's find out. Okay, I just got a whole lot safer feeling about this gym. So thank you, KTH77. I was really worried that wouldn't work. I know in more recent games, they have levitate so that you can't hit them with ground attacks. I feel much better now. And this is the last trainer. This guy looks a little bit more like his sprite. Yeah, I feel much more confident now, which is good. So after I beat this guy, I'm gonna go heal up just so Sneaky Snack can get all his attack points back. And then uh, I guess we'll do the puzzle and beat the gym leader. I'm going to call this episode, episode Dig, because all I'm doing is digging holes. You did it! Super effective! I think teaching Dig to Sneaky Snack was a brilliant move on my part. I might not even need to use, use Diglett. Pecker. Use the Pecker. Actually, and I thought after this that it was just a pretty simple matter of getting to uh, Lavender Town, because that's the next town if my memory serves me correctly, but then I remembered you have to go through that cave, the flash cave, so I guess that's what we'll be doing this episode after it beats Surge's. 
depending on how long it takes to get to the Pokemon Center there anyway, we'll be fighting Surge. I mean, I mean, we'll be going through that cave, so they, this could be a long episode, when I thought it was going to be a relatively short one. Unless I do a hell of a lot of editing, anyway. Either way, we'll at the very least, once we get to be catching a new Pokemon, so that's that's always exciting. And that's what it's all about in the end. Those are my favorites, is seeing what new Pokemon I get. Alright, this is it. We're going to meet the Gym Leader. Um, okay, so this is about turning on the right... It's about finding the right bins with the power in them, isn't it? When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. Oh, that's right. I think it might be down. Ah, poo. So again, okay, at least I know that it's gonna be right next to it. It's just a matter of picking the right... the right side. I guess it must only be horizontal. Adding verticality to it would make it a little bit too unfair. This is a dumb puzzle. Now that I know what I'm doing, it's like, eh. Okay, now if I press this, hey, we did it. That's, well, it is what it is, it's for kids. All right, this is it, we're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight him right now. Please don't paralyze me, bro. No, I have no idea what Pokemon he has. He has three. I'm assuming he's gonna have like a Voltorb, a Pikachu, and I think he has... Or a Voltorb, a Magnite, and a Magneton. I, from memory. I could be mistaken, but I get the feeling that's what he's gonna be doing. The thing about electric Pokemon is that they are fast. And... My Pokemon aren't really. Sonic Boom's also pretty dangerous too. Like, um... Like the electric moves that this guy has, I don't, I don't think his focus is really on electric moves in this gym. It's more on... Like, Sonic Boom always does 20 damage. Which I guess is, they needed that to balance things, because, I mean, since electricity can't, electric Pokemon can't hurt ground types, it makes sense that they would be some kind of attack like that. Alright, Sneak Snack's gonna be paralyzed now. Nope. Oh, Raichu. I thought he had a Magneton for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Well, I was worried for nothing. This gym's in the bag. Well, it was until Raichu's double team, anyway. What a jackass. I don't know if I like that sprite or not. I don't think I do. He looks a bit... chubby. Um, okay. Let's... Oh my god. I can't even hit the bastard now. This is where it becomes a problem. I don't have Swift or anything like that. This, this gym could still prove to be a challenge. I was getting a little bit cocky there. Oh my god, really? The annoying thing is, I only have to hit him once. Probably. Alright. I can finish him off with a bite or something like that. Oh man, how much is this gonna do? Not much. I get the feeling that he would totally just destroy my Diglett, though. Oh, he's still alive. Um, okay. Ah, uh, shit. Shit. Actually... Asparagus Ego out. His attacks aren't very effective at... You busted. Well... This battle just got a whole lot more interesting. If I can poison the fucker... And cause this puts his evasive this up, so if I can use Sweet Scent... So I can actually hit him again. How much damage does this do? Like, not a lot? Yeah, not a whole lot. Hitting the guy is gonna be the fucking problem. Let's try Sweet Scent. Oh my god, stop it with a double team. I get it. Fast. I can't even hit him with <laughs> the move to make it so I can hit him easier. Uh, I can see this, this battle is going down, how, down south very quickly. <clears throat> but we poisoned him. That's good. That's something. That's something at least. Oh wait, does that... Oh, you f motherfucker. Uh, this, I'm having a bad time. This is not... This is not going... going well. I hope he... I think he can... Uh, well, can he keep healing him? Can he heal him multiple times? I don't know that he can. 
Stupid full heal. I'm gonna have to swap this asparagus out, I think. Oh, he's tanking the attacks pretty well. We should just... How many heals do I have? I, know, I have super potions. All I really have to do is just keep healing asparagus and Raichu's gonna die of poison. That's how I'll win this battle. I'm a genius. I got six strats for days. Still, this is not the uh, this is not the way I imagined myself winning this this gym leader. Which I shouldn't be saying yet. Things could still he could still get a critical on my asparagus, which could totally fuck up everything. But if I do beat the gym this way, it's it, I had no idea that this would be how it would go down. Oh, one more should do it. Attack miss, didn't matter. Hurt by poison, down he goes. Ah, oh, feels good. Hey, I had no idea that that. I did not expect this this to be the way that I'd win this gym. Take that, Lieutenant Surge. Du, 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 du. Cool, I can use fly now, except I don't have it. TM34, which is Shockwave. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. That sounds like good advice. All right, well we did it, and I've been recording for 16 minutes, so I won't be doing the cave today, but I will get up to the part where the cave is. And I believe I can also get the bicycle now. But we beat the gym. That's awesome. I was so worried it was going to go south, and it kind of did. But not in a way that I thought it would. Now, another question I have is... Do I keep Pekka out? Because he's kind of shit. Should I bring... Should I get Burby back out? Or get someone else out, maybe? Maybe I should see what I catch in... In the next, uh, the next zone. Maybe I'll get something useful there. Alright. So now we can go back to... Cerulean City. Now that we have cut, we can move on to the next area. So long, suckers. Alright, so back on Route 6. I do love this uh, the shortcut this opens up here. Oh yeah, let's get the bicycle. We can do that now, I think. Yeah, cut that sucker down, son. Um, is this the bike store? No, this is the bike store. The one with the bikes beside it. That makes sense. Oh, that's the bike voucher. Here you go. Yeah, we got the bike voucher in the Vermilion City. I don't think I actually showed that on camera. Come back sometime. Nah, I'm just gonna ride the bike. Where is my... My bike. Let's go ride a bike. Register. Alright, it's ready to select. What is select on this controller? It's this. Why? Of course it's why. Why wouldn't it be? This bicycle is actually not that big of an improvement over the running speed. Running actually feels faster than riding the bike. Alright, Route 9. We can catch a new Pokemon. Awesome. I'm excited. So we might be able to catch two new Pokemon. Oh, we do have trainers down here. Um... Yeah, let's keep going to the next Pokemon Center. That's what we'll do. I don't think there'll be too many along here from memory. I think it's a pretty short little burst and then you get to the Pokemon Center. I could be completely misremembering things. But that's how my brain's telling me it is. It's what my brain is worth. Go Skyrat. Take no prisoners. So I think what I'll do is something I, I, going back to the time issue that we were having, that I was told that there kind of is because I jump around. I will not cut from one battle to the inside of another battle. If, if I, w I will cut from a battle if I don't have anything to say after it starts to being outside the battle. So you can see that I've beaten that gym leader, but I will not cut to another battle and I will cut from like within that battle if there's like three Pokemon between the five of them that are boring and I don't say anything but yeah if there's like a I won't cut from one battle to like the middle of another battle because that could be confusing I could totally see the people being confused by that so I'll try doing that from now on and we'll see if that works and you guys can let me know in the comments if that if that does work the way you would uh, hope the way I would hope it works good work Keaton Keaton's a 
Caitlyn does gets business done. Skyrat is poison. I don't want to waste my antidote. Okay, it's a hiker. I don't think I have an appropriate Pokemon out in front. Although he might have a matchup, I guess. He does, never mind. My Pokemon are fully appropriate. I was worried for nothing. Keaton, you sucked for a long time, but man, you've really come into your own. I'll tell you what, he doesn't fuck around anymore. Onyx. Uh, so we're not as close to Cellar, but we're a couple episodes away before we can get Asparagus to evolve. I've got to buy a, a Leaf Stone from Celadon City. Which I think is underneath Saffron City. I can't remember which of the two I go to first. I'm kind of getting... All the early game stuff I remember quite well, but the mid and the late game I remember really well. But the mid game stuff is kind of a blur to me. I don't quite remember how it all works from when I was a child, so... I don't remember if you go to Saffron first or Celadon. Don't tell me in the comments, I wanna... I want the magic of it. Rediscovering all of this. But, uh, Aerial Ace, that could be useful. Alright, I think we have this guy and then we can get some new Pokemon. So, now Keaton's level 23, let's get... Asparagus out front, and Mike. I do kind of want to get the SP XP share, which in the newer games where it spreads over all your Pokemon, I can see why people don't use it. I think in these games where you're using it just to level up one lower level Pokemon, I think it's reasonable. Oh, of course it's a Growlithe. Why wouldn't it be a Growlithe? But, um, I think I could definitely make, make use of it. Because I have some low-level Pokemon I would like to train up, like Cody 2. Because, yeah, I don't think I'll be holding on to P.E.K.K.A. If I can replace P.E.K.K.A. with something somewhat not shit, I most certainly will. Well, good work, Mike. I haven't actually used Mike in ages, it feels like. So, welcome back, Mike, to the real world. Ah, Charmander. Like many others, Charmander is definitely my favorite starter of the original Gen 1. Well, I'm not as big a fan of Charizard as, as everyone else is. Charmeleon is actually my favorite step out of that group. This guy will be a bug catcher. Yep, so Oddish is once again completely useless, but he's in front, but that's okay, because he grows quick. Oh, a Beedrill. We could have had a Beedrill if Hivemind hadn't died to that Pikachu early on. Oh, Hivemind. I like Beedrill's sprite in this game, it looks good. It's a good look at sprite! One down. <laughs> sound that Beedrill makes kind of sounds like a car like starting up. Brrrr. Another Beedrill. Well, this time Keaton can take care of it. He'll make pretty short work of it. Brrrr. Yeah, it seriously sounds like someone like like a car in like an old video game or something where they just start now. It's brilliant. What? I want a total waste of time. Yeah, for you, because you're lost, because you're shit, stupid kid. Okay, we're gonna catch a new Pokemon. Let's put let's put Mike in front because he needs the XP, and we'll swap him out if need be. Let's see what we've got here. An Ekans. I don't need another one of these. So, oh, I was supposed to kill him. It's level 11, like, who cares? Um, this is it. We could get something new here, or we could not. We are not getting any new Pokemon in this zone today, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, fate has not smiled upon us. Fate has pissed in our faces. This has been happening a lot lately. That's a shame. A damn shame. I like the excitement of getting new Pokemon. And we are being denied this. <laughs> There's more trainers here than I remember. Alright, Chelsea Bug Pokemon, you loser. What do you got? Well. That's a shame. This guy's about to send out one of my favorite Pokemon. And that is... Venonat. I don't know what it is about this little fluff ball, but I just love the design of him. Well, he looks great. But now he's dead. 
And that's a shame. I just thought I'd share that with you. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Alright, did I miss anything up here? <clears throat> yes, another trainer apparently. And some old grass, which is probably... Rock Tunnel, that's what the place is called. We'll do Rock Tunnel next episode, because I've been recording for half an hour now. I thought this episode was going to be quick. I always start off with the best of intentions. You shitting me? Ah, Skyrat is poisoned again. Because of this stupid kid with his garbage Pokemon. Jesus. What a pain. Wasting all my time. Ah, I'm not going back to heal him this time. We can just use an antidote. Can deal with the bro. These trainers in this area are pretty easy though. They're pretty pretty low level. Uh where's my Nope, nope. Items sit in here. Antidote. Yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Yay, you did it. Congratulations. Now you're well again. Alright, nothing up there. So we just got this guy to beat. Actually, I need to put someone else in front now. That mic's leveled up. Asparagus, you go. Aren't you a little toughy? Are oh, you gonna regret saying that? Because I'm about to murder all your Pokemon, man. Asparagus eats Geo dudes for breakfast. Another one down, okay, what do we have left? This trainer here, and I think then we're pretty much there. Don't you dare patronize me. What? what? I didn't do anything yet. Jesus. Hey, it's Cody too. I wonder how much damage this will do. Probably like none. Approximately none damage. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make you watch it, but I think you'll win. He won. It was an epic fight. And Asparagus came out on top in the end. Real acid? Uh, I forget what kind of move acid is. It's poison, I believe, yes. Attack power is only 40. May lower defense. Hmm, yeah, whoops, oh, I did not mean to get rid of poison powder, oh no, I wanted to get rid of evade, sweet scent, oh crap, shit, wait, route 10, I can catch another new Pokemon here, but first, well, I guess I can just teach him toxic once I get that, toxic is very, is better than poison anyway. You're not going to fight me, are you? Oh, you are. I wasn't expecting a fight so close to a Pokemon Center. Oh well. This fight will be it. Then we're going to heal up. And we're going to try to catch a Pokemon. And oh my god. Hi, Jess. How you doing? Chester just ran out here just in time to see me fight. You can hear how excited he is to watch me fight Pikachu. Asparagus is the wrong choice for this battle. Let's go... Sneaky snack. Hi, Chester. Thanks for coming in out here and making a bunch of noise in my recording, buddy. With your little noisy feet. He's got the noisiest feet, I swear. Crazy noisy. My baby's out here now. Maybe after we take him out, we'll do Rock Tunnel together. Wouldn't that be lovely? Would you guys like to have Jess on the show? Too bad, I'm coming in anyway. Yeah, that's, that's too late now. She's already doing it. <laughs> See, I'm recording this. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning, and I guess I was loud, so I woke her up. I was up like Oh, never mind then. She was already up. So, we'll get we're recording two this morning. That's good. That's a week's worth in one sitting. But yeah, I, I, I'm back to recording this early in the morning again for now. Come on, let's get this battle finished so we can catch a new Pokemon. Or we can leave it for the start of the next episode. That's what we'll do. We're going to catch, try to catch two new Pokemon tomorrow. Next episode, not tomorrow. What the hell is follow me? Um, if you're in a double battle, 
Oh. Well, why the hell is it in this? Because there's no double battles in Fire Red or... That seems a bit dumb. Seems a bit silly. I mean, I don't know the use of it. I'm sure there's a use for it in single battles. Yeah, one of those dual, battles, dual no use way. attacks. Come on, just kill him. Yay. Clefairy is dead. Chester's being real fidgety. Jess is holding him and he's, he's being a super fidget. It looks hilarious. I wish you could all see it. I'm sure you can hear him being a butt right now. All right, I'm going to go save, and we're going to call this an episode. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I hope you had a good time. I'm sorry I crashed the last, like, 30 seconds. It's okay. We're gonna try, I'm going to try to replace Pecker in the next episode, because he's garbage. Sorry, John. Yeah, sorry, John. <laughs> it isn't your fault. I mean, you did want it to be Burby to be Pecker. It's just us a little bit late. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace out, and have a good one.